Hey people, good morning. I've got uh, a little bit extra time this morning um, before I have to be at my next destination. Um, yeah, I just kind of like wanted to just chat a little bit. Um, I noticed that uh, I was closing in on 200 subscribers. Can you believe it? Last time I looked, I had 190 subscribers. I mean, that's incredible to me. I mean, because I'm nothing special. You know, I don't have a clear uh, vision for my channel. And uh, my filming uh, is, my recording is, <sighs> leaves some to be desired. Um, editing, it's like, you know, what do you want, want for free software? You know, um, but... Still, it's, it's amazing to me that there's that many people that have an interest in, in watching me make a fool of myself. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, it's fun. I like watching the videos. It gives me a chance to look back and see, okay, what are you doing wrong? What should you change? You know, it's, it's educational for me as much as it is for... Well, maybe not so much for other people, but maybe some people are getting something out of it. Um, but I know I, I have a chance to look and evaluate myself. Um, so I guess that's a good thing. Even if nobody else gets anything out of it, just, you know, watch me goof around. Uh, anyways, um, just that kind of like... Just cover some things that maybe some people are wondering about. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time these days uh, to put into doing a lot of uh, recording. Mainly because my job takes me away Monday to Friday most times. And I leave the house at 6.30, and I don't get home till 4.30, 5 o'clock some days. And that's a long day. And then I got stuff I got to take care of at home. You know, so, um, that's a long time away from the house. And, uh, there's nothing I can do about that. It, it is what it is. Um, so that leaves me with just the weekends. Now, unfortunately, this week, um, I don't have a set schedule, um, so I still, I do have some things that I have to take care of that are work-related, but it's not a set schedule. I just have to wait for other people to call me and let me know when it's going to be convenient for them to, to get together. It's kind of like a laid-back week this week, so I'm going to be at the farm a little bit more this week, but... At the same time, I've got stuff I need to take care of at home, and um, also the weather is really, really horrible, uh, especially the first part of the week. I, we have had, we had some really gorgeous days while I was working. Couldn't do anything about it. Uh, now that I'm off and I had time to do stuff, it is just horrible um fog and rain and i mean some sometimes some days the temperatures are warmer uh than usual and some days they're not but of course with the warmer temperatures all the horses have their winter coats and it's like you don't want to work them too hard um, when it's this warm with their heavy winter coats on and i know some people shave the the horses um the winter coats but these horses, they're not in work that hard most days. And it's like, it'd be crazy to shave them. Not to mention, we do have colder temperatures supposed to be coming. So it's just a matter of time. You know, it's just the, the weatherman and the and the, the uh, horses' tailors, they just didn't coordinate their schedules. So the horses have their winter coats and the, we have warmer temperatures. So, um... 
you know, uh, you just learn to adapt and uh, work work around it. Um, the chickens uh, did an update, uh, and uh, I won't be continuing the breeding program that I was doing. I won't be breeding any more chicks. Um, all eggs will be collected, what few I'm getting right, right now. Having lost a couple of chickens to, to the fox, um, two of my younger chickens, I, I don't have a lot uh, that are laying right now. I have one hen who is laying, and that's Kettle. Kettle's the only one laying for me right now. Uh, Blossom is old. Silver is old. The two leghorns are old. The two, two red hands are old. Um, and uh, I just have the two buffs left. Because uh, I sold one. And then of course Buffy got taken by the fox. Um, so it's just... With, with the disease being brought on property and all the issues to, associated with that, it's just right now maybe it's best that I don't do the chickens. Um, I'll just maintain the small flock that I have. I feed them, water them, collect the eggs, uh, and just let them live out their days. You know, uh, they stop laying, they stop laying. You know, they don't cost me with this small a flock doesn't cost me that much with with feed um, I still have half a, um, a feeder full feed so they're not they're not hurting any I could probably go another two weeks before I have to buy a bag of feed and even then probably even longer than that um, they're just not eating that much right now um, I see here uh, there's things I would like to show you um, that I want to do in my house, but um, time is a major factor. And I mean, I have projects I would love to do. Uh, like, I would like to be putting in a new kitchen because my current kitchen is a piece of garbage. Literally. It is falling apart. We got leaks. We got stuff in it. It's just, it, it's up. Absolutely, totally horrible what I'm dealing with in the way of a kitchen. Um, and the only way it's going to be made better is if I do it. And that's just the way it is. Um, but it takes time. I have very little time between working and doing the horses at the farm. There's only so much I can do. And not only um, is it that, but also I have uh, my family that's living in the house. And they have their ideas about things. And they're living there. And, you know, when you're living someplace, it's a little bit different. And it's just empty. You just go and do something. You know, put in five minutes of time. Uh, go off and do something else. And come back. And you're still in the same place that you were for that five minutes and nothing's changed and then you can con you can continue on well no uh, when you're living in a place you can't just you know do five minutes here five minutes there and eventually you'll make progress because you still have to live there so things have to be put back to rights um, you know you have to put things away and it's like the, the time that you need to take things out, tools, uh, materials, what have you, it's a lot more involved. So it's going to be harder for me to do what I want to do at home. Not only do I need a new kitchen, um, my pantry needs a major reorganizing. Really, it does. Um, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in, in the house, but I just... The time allotted to do it with living in the house with other people is difficult. Um, if I can actually make this go, make it work, 
I'll, I'll show you what I can. But I mean, I'm, I'm not a carpenter, as you've seen with my um, hen house project and my tack room project and everything else. I, I'm not a carpenter. I'm just winging it. You know, it's like this. I don't have the money to be able to afford to pay someone to do the work for me. I have a family member who is a carpenter by trade. And it's, you know, okay, if I asked him, he may do it. But that's not fair. That's how he makes his living. So I, I don't feel right asking him to do something for me um, gratuitous. I, I just, I don't feel right asking that. Um, so I'm just going to do what I can by myself as I can afford it. Um, I don't have a lot of money. My, uh, I used to have a very good paying job and I had the money and I had you know, enough money saved up that I could do stuff. Well, then I lost that job and I was out of work for three years before I got the job I have now. And it's taken me five years to get to where I am now with this job. And when I first started it, I got next to nothing. But you know, just about any new thing you start, you're not going to get what others got. It takes time to build your position. So, and that's how it is right now. Um, I'm doing okay right now. Uh, but this job, just the nature of it, uh, the, what, this, what I'm doing right now, it's going to come to an end. And I don't know what next year is going to bring. It's just the way the job is. Um, but it is a job. And I'm grateful for the job. I like it. I enjoy the people that I work for. They're good people. Um, but they're, they do run a business and... A business is in the job of making money. you got to make a profit. If you're not making a profit, then you're not going to succeed at business. And the business is going to go out of business. And then you're going to be out of a job. Okay? So I understand all that. So that's that's the way it is. I, I, right now, I'm, I'm trying to save as much as I can. While at the same time, allowing a small portion... Of my funds to go through to these other projects um, the weather has been really bad when it comes to like I mentioned before that I, I was going to build another um, another hay feeder for somebody and I just between the time and the money and the weather it's just I just haven't had a chance to get to it um, Every time I think I'm going to be able to do it, something comes up and I can't do it. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I will eventually do it. And I have an idea for improving the, the hay feeder. But I just can't do it right now. The weather's just not good for it. Uh, I was, I'm hoping I can get to it before spring, but I don't know. Um, oh, what else? Um... Yeah, another project. Um, well, there's a lot of things wrong in my house. Um, I've got holes in my plaster. Um, I got all kinds of issues. And I mean, there's there's some things that I think that I can do in my house. Other things, it's really beyond my ability to do. I want to get out of that house. The house is not so much of a problem. It's where I live. I can't do anything. You know, um, it's just not a good town to be in. I would like to sell it and move out to the country. And then hopefully I'd be able to get, you know, show you guys more stuff. But it just right now. I don't exactly live in a high demand area and the house needs work.
and it's it's really gone downhill the last couple of years just you know we just didn't have the funds to be able to take care of it and my husband has like next to zero skills when it comes to handiwork um, and I'm just not there so what am I supposed to do um, when I was unemployed, okay, I had time. I just didn't have the money. I had zero money. Yeah, it, it, it was a rough time. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things. You either have the time or you, have, or, or you have the money. You rarely have both together. At least me, I rarely have both together. So that's one reason, another reason why I'm trying to save. So hopefully when I have the, the time, I'll have a little bit of money to play with so that I can get what I need to do stuff. Uh, horses. Um, gee, with a name like Mother of Many Horses, um, yeah, you think I have a passion for horses? Yeah, that, that is my big passion. Um, fortunately, in that situation that I'm in right now, I have opportunity to train horses. I absolutely love training horses. Oh, I love it. Um, teaching them new things, seeing it when they get it. You know, taking a horse that is scared of people, uh, won't let it be caught, won't allow itself to be caught, uh, scared to death, and just watching it come around and realizing that, okay, you're not going to hurt it, and it accepts, you know, what you want out of it. Um, and it's just, uh, just the bonding, it, it, it's like, I just love it, I just love it, okay, um, there are people into dogs, I love dogs too, um, but the horses are my passion, um, now, hopefully, uh, Libby, come spring, I will be able to continue with her saddle work, uh, her feet are looking really good. Um, I'm very pleased. Now, I just hope that this wet weather that we're having right now is not going to be a setback because the wet weather can mess up their hopes. So I'm hoping and praying that, you know, it's not going to mess up her hopes too bad, that things will dry out pretty soon. So, you know, things will be back on a, on a firm footing, so to speak. I know, bad pun. Um, but if everything goes all right, um, hopefully come spring, she'll be... Um, excuse me, back in the training and hopefully it'll only take me like a month uh, to get her to where I'm on her back and we're doing some stuff um, and hopefully I'll be able to bring you along with it. Then there's another horse um, actually there's two I would like to work with um, one is um, Liberty's son um, I'm not going to say his name because for one thing, the owner wants to change his name. Somebody else named him, and that person didn't do anything with him. So it's like, okay, fine, you know, don't worry about it. <coughs> so she wants a different name for him. So I'm not going to mention his name. Uh, another one is <laughs> it's a little Spitfire of a thing um, that she's got. <laughs> she got her as a trade for the Ram that did all the damage in that stall that I need to to fix up. Yeah, he's, the ram's gone, thankfully, and she got this little filly, um, she's just a spitfire, she really is, she's a spitfire, uh, she's just a little thing, and she'd probably be good at driving, um, she, I think she'd be great at driving, she's not, uh, she's too fine in build for, even for, I think, a kid to, to ride her, but for, as a driving po pony, a mini, oh yeah, I think she'd be great, she's just, got, has that attitude, and she's got that bit of a flair to her. That I think she'd be really cute. Um, so I think uh, I think her name is Willow. She's like, yeah, it, it suits her. She's she's just something else. So maybe I, I'm hoping that uh, her owner will let me work with her a little bit because she's just I don't know the the ones with with attitude just kind of really, <laughs> you know, pique my interest. I guess maybe that's why I love Honey so much because she's got attitude. <laughs> so. 
Well, anyway, um, I think that's about it because I think that we're probably getting a little bit late. Yep, yeah, I need to get going now, so I'll talk to y'all later.